Konnichiwa! Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Hongo Master Podcast. It's Azra, your host. We're back with another easy, fun, and useful grammar point for you today as part of our Study Saturday, as part of our Study Saturday language series. Have you ever felt like you're just not that hungry or need to say that you don't really like something? Well then, today's episode will teach you how to say that and more. We're going to look at how to say not very or not much in Japanese. For those of you who don't already know, Study Saturday Language Series breaks down Japanese grammar points in a fun and easy way. These bite-sized language learning episodes are formatted just like the Nihongo Master online learning system. We start out by explaining the grammar point, exemplifying them with a few example situations, and then wrapping it up with a list of vocabulary words we just learned in the episode. So, after this episode, if you learned a new thing or two of the Japanese language, I recommend signing up for our program. We know how to say yes in Japanese. We also know how to say no. That's like the first two words you learn when studying Japanese. Hi, e, right? What about the in-betweens? Like saying, not really, or not much. That's what we're looking at today. The phrase to express all of that in Japanese is amari nai or anmari nai. The latter is more casual. Let's first take a look at how it conjugates. For verbs, it's simple. You just have to attach amari to the negative form of the verb, which ends with nai. The format is amari plus verb nai form. Let's have an example. I don't really watch movies. Movie in Japanese is eiga. And to watch something, it's miru. The negative form is minai or mimasen for the formal form. Following a format, you get eiga wa amari minai. For the formal version, it's eiga wa amari mimasen. Now, let's take a look at how to use this grammar with e adjectives. This is also pretty simple. You also just add amari to the negative form of the adjective. How you get the negative form of e adjective is by taking the e out of the e adjective, then add kunai after it. So you get this format. Amari plus e adjective without e plus kunai. Let's translate this sentence. The food isn't that delicious. Delicious is e adjective oishi in Japanese. Its negative form is oishi kunai for casual and oishi ku arimasen for the formal. Food is tabemono. Follow the format above, you get this sentence. Tabemono wa amari oishikunai. For the formal version, it's tabemono wa amari oishiku arimasen. Have you gotten the hang of it? Now we move on to the last section, the na adjectives and nouns. Similarly to e adjectives and verbs, you add amari to the negative forms of na adjectives and nouns, which means it's na adjective without the na, or noun plus janai. The format goes amari plus na adjective without the na, or noun, plus janai. Let's have an example. Here's one with a na adjective. I don't really like soup. Soup in Japanese is simple. Soupu. And, and like is na adjective, sukina. For its negative form, you take out the na, then add janai to get suki janai. For the formal version, you instead add dewa arimasen to get suki dewa arimasen. The sentence you get following the format is soupu wa amari suki janai. For the formal version, it's soupu wa amari suki dewa arimasen. And that's about it. Let's have a quick recap, shall we? To say not much or not very in Japanese, you use the phrase amari nai. For verbs, the format is amari plus verb nai form or masen form for formal. For e adjectives, the format is amari plus e adjective without e plus kunai or ku arimasen for formal. For nouns and na adjectives, the format is Amari plus na adjective without the na, or noun, plus janai, or dewa arimasen for formal. Alright, we're moving on to a few role playing scenarios exemplifying the new grammar we just learned. The first one has the English translation afterwards. It's a conversation between two friends, Akiko and Hime, deciding where to eat for lunch. 
姫ちゃん、どこで食べたいの何か食べ物を食べたいかえー、あ、今、タイ料理が食べたくてたまらない。近くのタイ料理のレストランがあるかあの、辛いものはあまり食べられないけど、タイ料理をあまり食べないから。あ、ほんとでも、辛くないタイの食べ物もあるよ。あ、そうじゃあ大丈夫、多分。私は日本以外の料理についてはあまりよく知らない。ごめん。大丈夫よ。私も新しいことに挑戦することがあまり好きじゃない。え、そうか。姫ちゃんは私よりも冒険好きだと思う。え、そんなことないと思う。Now let's have a listen at the English translation. 姫ちゃん、Where do you want to eat? Is there anything you want to eat? Mmm, ah, right now I'm craving for Thai food. Are there any Thai restaurants nearby? Mmm, I can't really eat spicy food, so I don't really eat Thai food. Oh, really? But there's non spicy Thai food too. Oh, really? Then that's okay. I don't really know non Japanese cuisine that well. Sorry. That's okay. I also don't really like to try new things. Really? I think you're more adventurous than me. I don't think that's true. Let's move on to our second role playing scenario. We have friends Sara and Daiki catching up after so long of not meeting. Sashiburi, Daiki kun. Saikin wa do? Genki? Sashiburi, Sara. Genki da kedo. Saikin wa isogashiku de. Tobodachi to amari a son de inai yo. Eh, tukare so ne. Demo, watashi mo tomodachi to amari a wa nai. Demo, so are wa watashi ga namaki mono da kara. それは大丈夫だと思うよ。暇の時間はあまりないから休んだ方がいいと思う。そうだよね。私は運動を始めたいけど、スポーツがあまり上手じゃない。どうしようかな。ジムに行くだけだ。僕はサラと同じなのでジムだけに行くよ。一緒にジムに行こうかえ、そうか。それは考えてみるね。Now we have three quiz questions for you to challenge yourself with. First question Why was Daiki not meeting friends? Second question Why was Sara not meeting friends? Third question What is Sara not as good at? Answer check. The first question's answer is, he's been very busy. The second question's answer is, she's just lazy. And the third question's answer is, Sarah is not as good at sports. Let's wrap it up with a quick vocab recap. Ega, movie. Miru, to watch or see. Tabemono, food. Oishi, delicious. Supu, soup. Ski, like. Ryori, cuisine. Tabetakute, tamaranai. To crave for something. This phrase is used for food cravings. Chikaku, nearby. Karai, spicy. Igai, other than or with exception of. Yoku, well. Shiru, to know. Cho sensuru, to challenge. Bokensugi, adventurous. Saikin, recently. Isogashi, busy. Tomodachi, friends. Asobu, to play. Au, to meet. Namakemono, a phrase to mean lazy. Hima, free time. Yasumu, to rest. Undo, exercise. Sports, sports. Jozu, good at. Jimu, gym. Kangaeru, to think. And that concludes this week's study Saturday. Now you can use amari nai to say not much or not very and express things in between a yes and no. I have a challenge for you. Send us a sentence in Japanese using this new grammar. Submit to us by commenting on our social media platforms. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Also, if you're interested in similar bite sized grammar pointers, head over to Nihongo Master Blog for more. And if you're keen on picking up some more Japanese for yourself, pop onto our official website. 日本語マスターコム
to learn more about our interactive online learning system. At Nihongo Master, we offer efficient Japanese lessons that are quick, easy, and fun for Japanese language learners of all levels, from beginners to advanced. Our smart tools will assist you in areas where you need a bit of a push and congratulate you on the ones you waste. Get a subscription today and get a head start on your Nihongo journey with Nihongo Master. Thank you so much for listening in. Join me next time, where we'll be looking at an interesting part of the Japanese language. Mata ne!